is the Emergency Medical Minute. So, uh, I was going to talk about a little fun topic of syphilis. So, um, everyone's probably heard that syphilis is uh, making a little bit of a comeback. Um, you know, it uh, was a disease that wasn't around very much in certain parts of the country. It's very uh, kind of rampant, mostly West Coast, some in the South. Uh, populations that's more prevalent are the same populations you see HIV, um, people with very promiscuous sexual patterns, men who have sex with men. But it is starting to become kind of more generalized in the population. So just quick kind of refresher on syphilis. Uh, there's three stages. We talk about primary, secondary, and tertiary. And primary syphilis presents with a painless chancre or ulcer. Um, so a lot of times it gets missed because it's not painful. Um, if people notice it, it's like a painful, or sorry, painless ulcer, um, usually on the genitals, but it can also be in the mouth as well. Um, so a lot of times people don't notice that or don't get treatment for it because it's painless, so it progresses to secondary syphilis. Secondary syphilis can look like all sorts of things, but commonly it's a rash, um, and it's a rash that's unusual and sometimes because it's on the palms and the soles. So if we see somebody who has a rash on the palms and the soles, and it looks kind of weird, and they seem like the kind of person that might have syphilis, then we should probably think about it. Um, also, uh, it can be just a generalized rash. People can have just kind of viral type symptoms with uh, lymphadenopathy, kind of body aches, fevers, so nonspecific findings. So that's kind of the secondary syphilis. Also, new warts um, should make us think about syphilis and someone who could be at risk for it. Uh, and then if you don't treat it when it's secondary syphilis, it becomes what's called latent syphilis, which is asymptomatic. And that can last for five to 20 years. And it's not gone. You're still carrying it. And then if it's not treated during that time, you progress to tertiary syphilis, which can be even worse because you get neurosyphilis, you can get dementia from it, you can get meningitis, you can get cardiac problems like dilation of your aortic root, and that's one of the risk factors for getting aortic dissection. So that's when it becomes worse. So ideally, we would catch it by either just screening people when we're testing them for other sexually transmitted diseases, or maybe they had a partner they got tested. Another interesting thing is the treatment. The treatment is very simple. It's penicillin Bicillin LA. So basically the same drug we use for strep can treat syphilis. If it's primary or secondary, it's only one dose. It's a very simple treatment. If it's kind of late, latent or tertiary, then they need three doses, but still not that complicated of a treatment. And an interesting thing is people have said that Bicillin LA is actually becoming relatively in shortage. So we probably shouldn't use it to treat strep anymore because we should probably save it for syphilis because there really is no other way to treat syphilis because besides this Bicillin LA. Um, and there's lots of other ways to treat strep. So even though it's convenient for strep, we should probably save that for syphilis. So any questions? All right, thanks guys. Thank you. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.